you know that it's short and sweet, where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Angels Envy has shared their new triple oak with us. They are putting out new expressions, they aren't are. they? Look at them go. Oh, wow. Oh. So this triple oak finish is a combination of, you guessed it, three different oak finishes. It is. And those finishes are Hungarian oak, Chinkapink. Chinkapin. Chinkapin. I almost had it. I had it you before we did. started rolling. I had it. Uh, Chinkapin oak. And French oak. And French oak. So it's regular four to six year old Angel's Envy. Right. Then some of it goes into the Hungarian, some of it goes into the Chinkapin, and some of it goes into the French. Then mm -hmm. after that's aged and sat for a while, then it all gets blended together. And Married back together. Master Distiller marries them. <laughs> so so they're not living in sin. And then, then it's good to go. And they bottle it at 92 proof. Okay. Okay, well, as long as it's not living in sin. <laughs> well, that just smells like all around the world. It does. It's more fruit forward than I was expecting. Fruit and antique, and I don't mean antique as in vintage whiskey, but like- Like furniture? Furniture. Yeah, I know Antique you furniture mm -hmm. shop. I mean, I think that's the oak again, right? Like we're getting that Definitely like the old oak. wood. Yeah. You know, Sometimes different varietals we'll, of wood, a little musty. We'll say like walking into a cedar closet. It's not that. It's walking into an antique store. Yeah, yeah. Full of old furniture. Lots of old, you know, uh, solid wood furniture. I do love antiquing. And it's <laughs> become a problem. Yeah, good nose to your health. Hmm. Processing, processing. processing. <laughs> hold, yeah, I'm hold, trying please. to process. My brain is like, how are these three different oaks playing together? How, where does one stop and the other begins? Or I'm well, just exploring. And I think that's it. I think it's a bit of a roller coaster. It's not like an up down roller coaster, but it's. It's an adventure. It's a. <laughs> It's a trip. I need a second sip. Me too. It's different than most things I've tried. Agreed, I, I can't. I can't quite. Akin like, this to anything. It's got the different <laughs> oaks that kind of unfold. It's a little sweet, you know? It's got Second sip, sip right, out, right off the bat. I said this about it while, you know, still on the palate, it's got a, it's got a pretty good mouthfeel. It does have a good mouthfeel. Oh, As, okay. Oh. <laughs> I think we both got it. You, Ripe fruits. Um, Definitely berries. bright fruit. Big berry flavor. Yes, big berry. Big berry. Big, big berry. berry flavor. But again, that oak comes in. So you've got that sweetness and that big ripe fruit at the front. And then the oak comes in and kind of takes you on its own journey mm -hmm. as you go through the way that these three different oaks are mingling together. And it ends with, I think, a pretty, I would say a stout finish for a 92 proof. <laughs> and I think it's that the influence of those oaks. It's really giving me some warmth. I had a pop there of like a juice grape or a jam grape. A jam, very jam grape, yeah. yeah. Then it almost goes a little peach, peach rings, bordering on tropical, but it doesn't quite get there. Like there's a lot going on there. I would say this is pretty complex. You're you're going in for your third. I want to hit pause. Okay, fine. We'll hit I wanna, pause. I'm still going to think about it. I want to tell these fine people about whiskeyambitions.com. I bet you do. Where you can get uh, both of the t-shirts that we're wearing, the hat that I'm wearing, the, the glassware that we're using uh, here today. But also our 10% off. I think it's still going on Ooh. by the time this airs. Yes. <laughs> it's still September, right? 10% off site-wide. That's even including sale items. And you can get free shipping on $100 uh, or more on your order there. So take advantage of that all through Bourbon Heritage Month, which is here in September at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And we sure do love them. We just got to see a bunch of them at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Um, and for joining, you get access to after the episode exclusives, uh, discounts on that merch all the time, not just in September, events, barrel picks, and more. There you go. I am interested. This one is a thinker. In this. And yeah, I really want to go for this third sip. I'm going to be, fourth, this is my fourth, fourth sip. sip. Yeah. And who's counting anymore? We are. Yeah, just start word styling what, what, what's coming. The, the, yeah, word cloud. <laughs> um, yeah, fruit, peach, plum, a lot of berry, a little bit of yep. vanilla, yep. oak for sure, mm -hmm. like various different kinds. Oak, but not real strong oak. I think it's because this is the 92 proof of it. Yeah, not- It's not super all so about the oak. That is what I was gonna say before when I was thinking before we went into, um, you know, your little pitch. ad segment. Um, my little ad. My little ad segment is that for me, I get a little concerned, like it's not age wise too oaky, but when we're talking about blending three different oak finishes together. You would think. For me, it might raise a little like, oh, is this gonna be too oaky for me? Cause I am very sensitive to it. But not at all. But it is not. I no. really like the influence that each different barrel is having mm. and then how they were married back together in different yeah. ratios yeah. to create this. It's very interesting to me. I think it's a great sipper. So, $75 MSRP. Right, Which yeah. is, you know, the rye is more than that. It um, is. I'll say this about the oak. 
it comes on more at the finish. I think so too. Uh, you're really letting it, you know, what we have, three, four sips. It's it's really settling in here and it's been a minute since we've gone for another one. That's where the Oakley presents itself. Uh, honestly, a little surprising that there's so much fruit and, and uh, other things that are on the palate and the mid palate and everything that it's, that's more the star. And then, but then the you do oak get the oak. Really yeah. does show up on the end. But again, like you said, it's not over. It's not over, it's not over oaked. And I feel like that might be because of the, you know, four to six year age here. So you're not dealing with an a really oak heavy bourbon, bourbon to begin with before it starts going into mm -hmm, the secondary, the secondary. Barrels. You know, I historically and admittedly am not really a fan of the port finish every day on the shelf angels envy it's I think just that's not just for because me because of the finish maybe it's because of the port finish i don't know it's just never been for me and i have been really excited to see them put out these new expressions um like the bottle de bond we did the bottle de bond yeah. cast strength which mm -hmm. is a misnomer it's you a would thinker. think but it is a thing it does work i think that was distillery only and then now with this I do like to see them kind of flex their muscles in terms of what other kinds of finishing and mm -hmm. other experimental things can we do? What new directions can we go in? I'm excited to see it. And I really like the vision for this one. Yeah, um, this, this, this is good. At $75 when we're talking about, yes, a four to six year, but then it is aged in three separate oak barrels and then blended back together. We normally account for mentally, like what's the finishing tax for each one. I think 75 for something that has been done that way, mm -hmm. especially in today's market when you consider most of these things cost $90, $100 and up, seems pretty fair. Yeah, and lastly, I'll say this is a unique tasting bourbon to where you're gonna want to share this with your friends or ask them if they've had it. And you're like, oh, you haven't had this yet? Let me pour you for it. I wanna see what you think. I think it's a conversation cool. piece. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a, definitely. definitely something to think I like on. It. I like it a lot. I, I like to enjoy it. Cool. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you for there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Angels Envy. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.